Hey everybody, this is for my super soldiers out there. Those of you deprogramming, it's okay. You're gonna make it through it. You are, you are, you're gonna be all right. I know you have flashbacks. I know this stuff comes back and then it's like reliving the trauma all over again. And then you don't know how to express it on the outside. And people are looking at you like you're crazy. No, it's a matter of sometimes struggling with the ability to process, cope, and then express certain emotions, especially when we're stuck in a trauma state. You're okay, super soldier. You are right where you're supposed to be right now at this time. And you're going to be fine. God is good all the time. So coping tools is what we work on, right? So if we have PTSD and trauma, we got to work on tools that help us to change old habits. And also we want to do things where there's accountability because we have to have accountability for ourselves. We have to hold ourselves accountable, right? And it's important that we live in the moment. See, a lot of times when we have programming, if you have a PTSD moment, you go back in time to whatever operation program or whatnot was going on at that time. It opens up that can of stuff and then it puts you into a, a, a spiral and then you start actually living out and walking that old program again which unfortunately other people never mind that's besides the point so you have to be careful that's why it's important not to ruminate too too much on the past don't sit there and ruminate on what you could have, should have, and uh, didn't do because that moment has passed and that's not going to help you right now. What's going to help you now is you being in the moment now. When you have anxiety and when you have panic attacks, that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Take account of it. See where you're at. And do something to ground yourself again in right now. Just, you know, do something to remind yourself that you're still here. See, there's still that light shining through you. That you're still present. That's going to help you to not spiral by thinking in the back and bringing back the stuff from the past and reliving it again. Because if you stay grounded in the now and we know that the bad things have passed away, you're safe, you're okay now. Most of the trauma is in your head. I know oftentimes it feels like people are out to get you. Mm -hmm. And some people might think it's paranoia. But super soldiers, I'm talking to the supers. You know what's what and it's a little different um, per each group. But it's not paranoia. It's not schizophrenia. But it is attempts to trigger old programming and to see if you respond. That's why we do not engage. Don't engage. When you see the fuck shit, don't engage. When someone says something to trigger you and you know they're doing it on purpose because they'll use hand signals that you know. They'll say code words that you're familiar with. You know, hermetics that you probably have trained in also. Operations you've trained in. So you know what to look for. So when these people purposely start to trigger you, you got to think, okay, why are these people trying to trigger me? They're trying to get a response. What is the response they want? And do the opposite. <laughs> you know, don't give in to the programming. See, I got on the key and I got the roses, but I'm not under the programming. But those of you who know the program know know what you know but what my point is is that you are okay you're exactly where you're supposed to be right now it's a learning stage we're learning balance and harmony harmony within yourself see because what's happened with a lot of the super soldiers and other people with other programs and so forth is you lose a part of yourself or you put a part of yourself away, you have to compartmentalize because you are in survival mode. 
So you can't be thinking a whole bunch of fun, happy thoughts when you're strictly on survival mode, right? Now, that generally carries over past operations and into everyday life if you're not careful, right? So you have to be present and grounded in the now and be balanced and have knowledge of self versus simply ops. Because a lot of times, if you are in any type of operations, you could get stuck in your department, in your role, in the, in the position, and then you become just like almost robotic in your movements, and you just are on autopilot, and you do it because you're trained to, but not because that's what you really feel you should be doing at that moment. So be careful about that, about backsliding into those programs. Don't let people trigger you. Remember cause and effect. Ta. Cause and effect, balance, emerald tablets, karma, as above, so below. The book of revelations that we're living through right now in this current day, because it is real. So, that's my message for the moment. <laughs> Just finished my lunch. Talk to you again soon.